Okay, welcome back. In this video, we're going to cover headers. Now, headers are the navigation and what some people call the site branding, or it's usually a logo and um, the name of the company or the website, uh, which is typically going to go top left, navigation, typically to the top right. Maybe you'll see a search bar, maybe you'll see social media up there. Uh, at times you'll see a, a button as a call to action for you to do something. And MobiRise has a couple of different uh, options for you to put headers in. Now when we go to add an element, and a header is an element that you can add onto the page, which this is your web page, all you have to do is come down here and it says add a block to the page. So you click that. And then right at the top you have your menu. So they're distinguishing between menus and headers. Headers for MobiRise are full screen images uh, with text and some buttons. You can see that here. They have three different styles uh, right out of the box. And they are distinguishing between the navigation and the header. Uh, I come from the WordPress world where headers are usually what you put the navigation into and all this stuff too. So uh, you have to forgive me for actually calling the navigation a header. Uh, but this is a menu in MobiRise. Now there are two options here. One is this first one. You can see that there's not much here, uh, at least that you can see. This is meant to be a transparent header. So if you look here, you can see that transparency is turned on. And what that means is if there were an image in this other block, let me just show you. Let's add this. So you can see that these things were here all along, but you just couldn't see them because they were white. And they were meant to be done just like this. So instead of having a big block of color right here, it's transparent. And then you can see the full image underneath. So when you get rid of the image, it's not there. But in reality, it is there. So you can see that this is this is actually there. You can tell uh, when you roll over it. You can see this little icon looks like something that you would use in Word as a cursor. And then when you get off the Word, it goes back to a pointer. You get on the Word, it becomes a cursor again. And the same thing over here. You know that there's a, a title over here because of it turns into a cursor. So you can see that there is... Um, there's a logo or branding over here. So that is the first kind of header. It's called a transparent header and it comes straight on there. Now all of the parameters you can change. It doesn't matter which header you choose really because you can make this one have color by turning off the transparency and then now you can see that there's a color. It's just that it makes it easier for you if you say well I want a transparent header all you have to do is in one click, you'll click this one right here. So you can see that there is an image back behind it and that kind of tells you that this is a transparent header. Uh, it's not completely obvious, but if you think about it for just a moment, then you can see that that's what that is. Now this one is a big block of color. And just another thing, once you add this element, it won't let you add both. Obviously you can't put two uh, navigation bars at the top. So once you've added it and you've chosen one or the other, then MobiRise says we can't allow you to put two stacked on top of each other. So uh, you are stuck with one, uh, one navigation bar at the top. And this is how it comes preloaded with the logo and the site name. And then it gives you three just general um, links here. These can either be links for anchor links that take you down the page or they can be links to different pages. Uh, for instance, we instance we have set up um, we set up three pages index about and contact and these actually index is our home page about and contact so uh, these actually match up. And then there's a button here and then you have uh, the parameters. So for each of the blocks that you add, each of these blocks, you actually have uh, different parameters or options that you can choose. And these you can see are just turning on and off. So if you don't want to show the logo, green means on. 
So if you don't want to show the logo, click it off. And then now the logo is gone and you only have uh, the site name. If you wanted to take the brand name off, you could do that as well. And then there would be nothing up there. If you want to take the buttons off, you can see that the button is now gone. And sticky means that when you scroll down the page, then this, this area here is going to stay stuck to the top of the page. It won't scroll up. So you can turn that off and you can make it not sticky so that when you go down the page that this goes up the page and remains at the top of uh, the website instead of following you down the page. Uh, you can also make this a an, uh, collapsed or mobile uh, responsive uh, bar so that when it's like this then you no longer see the links up here they're hidden behind this menu here. So this does happen naturally. If you just leave it like this and then you go down to the mobile view, you can see that it happens naturally once you get to the mobile view and the tablet view. But you could also have it on the collapsed on the desktop view so that it's always collapsed like this. So if that's the style that you're looking for, something a little more, more minimal, uh, you can easily turn that on and off and then again you can make it transparent or not and then you can also add uh, a color you can change the color of the background very very easily and then there's also the option anytime you see this color palette there's also the option to choose other colors so uh, you can go through here and you can find your color and then you can find the exact same color or you can put in the hexadecimal code uh, for the color that you want and then it will show up. And of course if you wanted to get rid of this block and you want to remove it all you have to do is click that and cancel or click this part and click OK and then that would actually take away um, this bar here. That's not what we want to do. So let's go ahead and show um, let's show the logo and let's show the name and I'll show some of these elements to you. Um, you can make changes very easily. This is a front-end editor so you don't have to get up into any code in, or, in order to make changes to these things. So this, all images including the logo, all you have to do is click and then you can see here that this is the current logo you can see that there's a link so when you click that logo it goes to mobirise.com you can select which page that you want the link to go to we want it to go back to the index page and if you wanted the link to go to a particular place on the index page you could set an anchor link so that it goes down or up the page somewhere you can have it open into a new window or a new tab whenever you click that link uh, the alt for any image, this is called the alternate text. Um, and what this does, this is very important for search engine optimization because the search engine can't see an image. But what it can do is read this text. So if you have an image and this alternate text is describing what's in this image, then Google or Bing or whatever search engine can read this text and they can know that this is uh, the Moby Rise. Uh, logo. Now it doesn't have to be magnanimous, but you do want to you do want it to describe what the picture is, what's in the picture, why is the picture significant, something like that. And then there's also you can give it a title. So with the title, I might say Moby Rise logo, or you might even want to be descriptive and say something like um, go to home or click to go home and what the title does I'll show you is that when you when you hover over it and you leave the mouse over it without moving it the title is what shows up so maybe you have an image or something like that that you want to uh, be able to give more context to you can give it a title titles are also read and they're also important for search engine optimization so just to let you know those things if you want to change the image, you just click and then you're able to get into uh, your file browser on your computer 
and I will just let me see. I'll upload my own my own uh, logo here. So you can see that I have a black logo. It's not going to look very good on this dark color. It's also not going to look very good with the brand name. So I'll just take that and I'll make it white. And then now we have our logo here. When we click it, <clears throat> in we can go back and change the image or we can uh, change where it goes to any of those things. When you have your links out here, now they're they're on a white background and they're white. We have a few different uh, options here. So the first one is to determine where that link goes to. So this is the text. You can change what it says. You can change the URL or what, where that link goes to. And you can decide which page. So for this one, we want it to go to the index page because it's our home button. And I don't want it to select an anchor and I don't want it to open in a new window. I just want it to go back to home. So we're going to click insert link. That's like save. <clears throat> and then we'll go through some of the other options here. You can choose the font. There is a, a small list of fonts. These are all Google fonts. Um, and you can see that what it looks like here is what it's going to look like. And then you can choose the font size. It goes up pretty big. This is going to break your it's going to break your theme if you go up uh, too big. And then you can also choose a color. Right now the color is white, but we could very easily choose uh, a gray color. You can add a link, which will copy basically. It'll copy the link, but it allows you to add. It allows you to add more links here at the top in your navigation. You can also move it. So let's say we wanted this one to go this way and this one to go this way. All we have to do is click move. If we just change that uh, to something like services, and then I'll show you just how it moves. So we can just move it to the left. And if you aren't happy with that, you can just move that one right back. And then the last part is to remove it. So I don't want this in here. And what I'm going to do is to remove that. You can see how it pushed it up because we didn't have enough space with our um, with our logo here. I have a very long logo and then also I have one that's kind of short over here uh, that I sometimes use. I would probably use the shorter one uh, if I were using Moby Rise. Uh, just think about that when you have your logo. If it's long like this, then it's going to start to butt into what's going on here on the right hand side. One way to get past that would be to get rid of this download button um, or to change the text size here. If you wanted to go very small, you could do that, but it would be hard to see. So you just have to make those trade-offs as you see fit. Um, let's see, we'll do 14 and let's do Oswald, which is uh, the same font here. And then we will do the same thing. You can see that once you make that change, 14 and Oswald, that it actually changes all of these. But to change the color, you're going to have to go in and make a color change. What I like about this is that these are individualized on the color side so that if you wanted to highlight maybe a special one or have different colors for some reason, you can do that. So you can come in here and make them all different except for this about. Or if you're on the about page, you can make the about page a different color. Um, let's say we want to highlight the home page and we want the about page to be this color. That way people know that they're already here on the home page and these are active links so you can do that you can also see that it changed the the font inside of this uh, inside of this button now the button <clears throat> you can choose to show or to hide and when you click on the button you get your own set of parameters this follows all of these so when you change one you change them all with the size and the font you can decide where that button links to and you can choose the color of the button so choosing white obviously is not going to help you on a white background but you can make the color blue or you can make it red to stand out and then when you hover over it, it's going to be white text on a black background. 
So that is basically uh, all of the elements of the header. And then you can see, as you shrink it down, this is actually going to be You have to kind of move the page down so it's not going to show it right away. But if you move the page down, this actually shrinks. So I'll show you that as we get along and you'll be able to see that. So that's uh, pretty easy. There are a lot of configurations here that are possible for you. Uh, the only things that you can't do without having to get into the code are to move everything from the left to the right or the right to the left. Uh, this is going to be your basic configuration, branding, uh, link back to home on the left and then all of your links to the right. Uh, so that is uh, dealing with the, um, the header with Moby Rise. Uh, the next thing we're going to tackle is getting into, well, this is the menu or navigation. We're actually going to get into what they call the headers, which is the next big block that I showed you before with the image and a couple of some text and just a couple of buttons on it.